Well, greetings again. Glad we can be together for another Devo today. We're going to be in Revelation, so we're finally getting to the, the end of, of the Bible. Uh, what, a, what an exciting time. Congratulations. Well done. You've made it. We're almost to the finish line uh, of this year, and uh, what a strong finish we're hoping to have. You know, the revelation, uh, and, th and that's what it is, of Jesus Christ, that's really the title of this, this book, and it's written by John. He was exiled to the island of Patmos. He uh, was there and just had this revelation of, of who Jesus is. And so uh, he knew Jesus. Obviously, we've talked about that. He walked with Jesus. He's one of the disciples. But uh, one of the things that we want to note whenever we read through this, this is the unveiling, um, the revealing to us of the totality of the person of Jesus Christ. He is a loving Savior. He is also a conquering King. He is the forgiver of sin, and He is also a very just leader and, and someone who is going to exercise uh, justice. And so, you know, it, it, you have to reconcile that and accept that. But as he's writing, he's writing in this first portion, uh, he's writing to these seven different churches that kind of represent a lot of different things. Um, um, but we want to just take this first uh, little portion out of second uh, chapter, the verses four and five, because there's so much in the context of all this. I'm just really grabbing these little nuggets of truth that hopefully are just going to speak to our hearts. I encourage you to read through this. I encourage you to try and digest this, but there's a lot in it, but we want to get some good, solid things that can just help us in our walk today. In verse four, it says, nevertheless, I have this against you. So he's provided these in each of these churches. He's provided in his first little note to each of the churches this commendation of who they are and, and their strong points. And then he also says, nevertheless, and he would say that in each of them, not all of them, but um, six of the seven, he then says, nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. So this isn't that they've um, lost their first love, which is kind of sometimes what we I somehow create in our minds that that's what we think is that well I lost my first lot you know no this is you left it and so there's the responsibility of the believer to stay as we mentioned keeping ourselves keeping yourselves in the love of God we read that in Jude and now here we're seeing this nevertheless they've left their first love and so this idea of the motivator in what we're doing is to be loved by the power of God's spirit living within us. The motivator in the action and the things we do is to be motivated by God's love. He says, this is what he says, it, you've left that. And he says, he goes, remember therefore from where you have fallen. He says, you know, you've left or fallen away from that first love interaction, you know, that excitement of, engagement with the Lord and talking with the Lord and, you know, you couldn't wait to get up and get into your devos and so on. And, and I know that there's an ebb and flow to that to some extent, um, but, but I think it's important. That's why we're church, being a disciplined follower of Jesus Christ really comes into play. We are disciples and disciples really, not only is it a consummate learner, but it is the disciplines of the Christian life that we are trying to follow and live out. Not dutifully, but that we get to do that and because we love the Lord. And says, remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. In other words, Jesus says, hey, I'm not really present where love is is not existent. If there's no love in the, in, in the Lord, no love for the Lord, Jesus isn't really in the mix of that. And he says, so I'm just going to pull the lamps down because I, I, I challenge you. And this is what I think. There's three things here that are important is to remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Go back and remember what were those first things that you did that were so important. Then he says, he, he tells us to repent. So I'm to remember and then I'm to repent. And the repentance is to turn away from that which is not loving the Lord as we're designed to and move back toward a loving 
relationship with the Lord. So I'm to remember what those those first works of, in that relationship was, and I'm to re- repent uh, of, of, of leaving that, and I'm to go back to it. And then I like this, it says, uh, and do the first works. And many of, uh, of you have maybe been familiar with hearing this before, but it is important. Remember, it says repent and then repeat. Repeat, go back and do those first works. Get back into, remember it, uh, repent from what you are doing and go back into doing what you know is going to be the best for you. Remember, repent, and repeat. Man, the Lord will honor that. The Lord will bless. And know this, that it's us that leave the love relationship with the Lord. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. And you want to stay in that right place with him. God bless you. Have a great day.